Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'll be playing with this butterfly from uh, the Vintage Chronicles Amalia Fold 2 from Marami Small Art. And here you see me fuzzy cut the mod out. So I'm using it in a different way than uh, than normally so i'm going to use my a4 journal and first i'm checking if uh, if the papers are okay that i want to use and once i'm satisfied with the papers i'm going to cut some strips off i really don't have any sizes because i'm just cutting smaller ones and bigger ones and only a few that uh, i think i need i want to use then uh, i'm using some lace some wallpaper Here I'm using some structure paste with my plat and I'm just spreading it all over the page. It's going to give me some dimension with the palette that I just used. So here I'm drying it off. You can see some stripes and some goodies on the page then i'm going to use my oxide black shoot and i'm putting some water then i'm drying it off because i was thinking it wasn't a good idea to use it first so i'm just drying it because i don't want it to get lost but first i'm going to adhere my papers where i want it making sure the page can still go double i'm using different colors of paper these strips that i uh, that I cut and I'm just placing them all over each other overlapping them I'm not doing the whole page and now you see why I stopped with my ink because I want to use it also over the papers this this little parts that I'm using with the browns in the uh, wallpaper pieces of wallpaper so I'm also tearing them putting them in just gluing them down nothing special I'm gluing them with gel medium and now I can go on with my seed inks and uh, I'm using a brush a water brush and water you can see I'm going diagonal and I'm just putting it here and there and when I'm spraying the water, you can see these small dots uh, that is giving. I'm also still splattering with what I have left in my in my water brush. So now I'm drying off my ox oxide ink and the parts from the papers that got lost, loosened. Um, I'm adhering them, the little parts, 
with a gel medium once that I'm sure that all my papers are stuck I'm using my uh, clear gesso and I'm going over the oxide uh, ox oxide ink and it's going to move the ink but I don't mind but the oxide ink is water based so when you go uh, on top when any, with any other medium then it will move so that's why I put the gesso there when the gesso was dried I used another color of the ox oxide inks and it was a blue one just on top of the blue of uh, on top of the black black ink then I'm also splattering with it and once I'm satisfied that is it then the white paper I'm also tearing it and then I'm putting it on top of what I have already first I'm cutting my lace to see how much I need because I want it uh, throughout the length and then once I have the length that I want I'm gonna cut it and the paper is gonna go uh, underneath it I'm just tearing it you can see the edges are sp split but I don't mind also adhering it with gel medium and then I put a big line with gel medium in the middle and that needed to dry so I put it aside because uh, I'm gonna work on my mod now my mod I want it in the middle of my page but I don't want to glue the the uh, the wings down so what I'm doing now is to make sure that my paper doesn't break and I'm going uh, on top with it with gel medium and then also on the other side I'm going on top uh, with gel medium and I let it dry then off camera because I wasn't satisfied uh, with the thickness of the paper I still put another paper on the back from from the mod I had also adhered it with uh, with gel medium and that is how I'm using it in my in my a5 journal then the colors I'm gonna brighten it up you guys see me do this before I'm using my pentel touch and I'm just coloring with the colors that I want to call bringing in a little bit more color until I'm satisfied and you can see on top of the wing is a little bit more color so I'm also bringing in the orange color once I'm happy with uh, with my colors then I'm bringing in some uh, cadence shiny paint metallic paint And I'm going to use that on top. It's uh, bluish goldish, so when you move it around, you will see either blue or gold color. It's also a very thin paint, so adhering it is not that too difficult. First of all, I'm going over the white and painting it, and then I'm painting it. Uh, on the sides of the butterfly and rubbing it out a little bit because I don't want too many glitters there 
and I just want a thin layer on top and that's all I'm using it has to dry a little bit and here you see me shaping it and this is how I'm going to adhere it in my book so first of all I check in the middle what do I need and I'm only adhering the body of the mod so I'm putting glue quite a little bit and then I'm adhering the, bo the, the body and it has to dry well before I can shape it but most of all important is that it is glued down I put it into place and then I left it for a couple of hours to dry off so that is all that I've done to it so I want to thank you all again for being here with me watching the video so thank you so much i hope you consider to like subscribe and share my video and i will see you the next time thank you bye